we have two new cards uh, previewed. Jazz Good Games does not like the word spoiled for the provisional packs that are going to be given out at major events. Uh, I know that they are prepping for the uh, events happening on um, Wednesdays. I believe that they're giving out plus ultra packs for those. Not plus ultra, the uh, the the tournament local packs for those. What are those called? Are they called plus ultra packs? Are they quirk packs? What are the, what are the name of those cards? The one that you can get plus ultra in. I'm assuming it's plus ultra packs. Plus ultra packs. We're gonna say the plus ultra packs. Anywho, uh, we have a we have a, a character. We have a character and we have an action. And I want to talk about the character first. Uh, it is midnight. She is a 628 all chaos void character. She has enhance commit. You see, commit uh, her discard any number of cards from your hand. Draw one card for each card discarded. Wow, that's a really good ability. Wow, that's that's crazy crazy good. That's super, super good. Enhance commit one foundation. This attack is plus one or minus one speed for each of his keywords playable while committed. Man. So we can take and turn every single one of our attacks into something fast or turn every single one of their attacks into something slow. Um, as long as it has two or more two or more keywords, it is worth the enhance commit, uh, commit a foundation for the minus speed. Um, and pretty much all the time it's worth it for the enhance commit plus speed. Um, this character seems very, very good. She fixes her own hand. Everything that you saw there, that last game, if I have one attack, I can literally play my attack, discard my five cards, redraw five cards, and have, have another shot. Wowzers. Wowzers. Um, not to mention, she has access under Chaos to things like Meteor Shower, so she could, like, discard Meteor Showers into her discard pile. And then discard another card and pick one up. She works with eraser heads things. Um, he has a lot of draw power as well as he has cards that say if this card is discarded, do a thing, right? Um, for a light riser, I think it's plus one or minus two speed. Like there's there's a there's a lot that this character gets to do. Uh, reminds me of Mega Man Two. I agree, Nebula Nebula Purple. I think this character is very very cool. Um, I'll ask what you guys think. Here we could do this. Uh. Is this card sweet? Yes, no, or meh. One, twos, or threes in the chat as as we uh, as we keep thinking of, of cool combos. Um, I think this character is rad. I think the big thing about this is there's not a lot of there's not a lot of keyword spaghetti, as we would say in a in standard, right? Like there's like there's some cards that say that only have like one keyword. So enhance commit for plus one or minus one speed, like it's not a good not a good exchange rate. But like if you have anything like four better, enhance commit for plus four, which I think I think Nil said pillar swing, right? That card. <clears throat> we just go look at some at some cards, right? You know, 14 of you guys say yes. No mez. You have Detroit Smash and Pillar Swing are like the main ones. Okay, okay. Uh attack my hero. We need all chaos void and then search again. Yeah, Detroit Smash has four keywords. Texas Smash has three keywords. So Enhanced Committed Foundation for plus three seems good. Electric Jolt gets another three speed. Indiscriminate Shock gets three speed. With Stun one, Committed Foundation, they commit another one. Like a uh, like a six low for whatever inside of with Indiscriminate Shock seems crazy. Right? Let me let me switch to, to my screen, right? As we're as we're talking about talking about these cards. Um, blinding cloth assault gets three keywords. Uh, has three keywords. Expl Flurry has three. Dark shadow ruin. Yo, yo, she could be another dark shadow. Uh, a shadow. Dark, a summon dark shadow deck, right? Because we don't care if her characters committed. The first thing we're gonna do is commit and go find our the cards that we want. Whew, whew. That's that's really solid. This is a really cool card for her. Wait, keywords are just the color ability, right? Or are traits also keywords? Traits are also keywords. They are also keywords. So at this ally ranged, enhanced commit, this card gets plus plus two speed. Yeah. We can make our grasping tape toss very fast. <laughs> it's now a five mid for five as a six diff. Don't like to look at any of these cards. Uh, this one's wowzers. Unwavering slash. Commit my foundation, ready it back up. Whoa. This is sweet. And then you could like go and find your staff strike combo, 
your staff strike becomes really big. This gets three speed. All for a, commit one. So commit a foundation. It gets three speed. Add that commit a foundation to your momentum. Only one keyword. Thank goodness. This card has three keywords. This card has three keywords. This card has three keywords. How many keywords is that? This card has three keywords. Oh no. <laughs> this card. This character is kind of nutty, huh? This card's got four. This is a seven mid for eight on a six diff. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of really cool things that that uh that this character gets to do. Yeah, I'm I'm hyped for her. I think she's really really cool. At bare minimum, she gets to belong in like some some uh some uh 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 cyborgs, right? Yeah, I I like this I like this character a lot, like a lot a lot. Yeah, I'd play the heck out of her. I'm excited. She she like. If she can find one attack, she's probably gonna find a second one, right? Like we saw, we saw matches all day today going to go into like like an hour plus just because they couldn't find they couldn't find moves off the cards that they drew. She essentially can is allowed to be an eleven hander as long as she finds one attack with enhanced commit discard or hand draw, and it can't even be canceled by like Todoroki, and it can't be canceled by uh whatever. Yeah, there's there's a lot of cool stuff that you get to do here. So it looks like you guys pretty much exclusively have said yes that this car this this card is cool. I love that. I agree with you guys. I agree with you guys. You gotta pull her out of a provisional though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and she'll be in redemption. I agree. And I bet, I bet they hand these packs out like candy at events. So so here's here's one of the big things about about universes events that I wanna I wanna talk to you guys about, right? <clears throat> universes events. Go absolutely bananas with the prize support. Um, at majors, you and and originally back at um, back at uh, like PTCs, like regionals, um, they would hand out like a pack every round, like every single round. Um, it was it was cr it was crazy how much she uh, how, how how much support that we got as like prize support. It was it was insane the amount of product i went and i paid my event not only did i get like the winnings of uh getting uh the mat and i got or not sorry i didn't, I didn't get a mat i got a uh i got a uh 300 plane ticket voucher to go anywhere in the country that i wanted from jasco um but i also got like a bunch of product and cards as well as we got uh we got uh uh at majors, we got like promos for the next event. I remember for the Mortal Kombat set that came out for universes, there was um, in round four, I want to say round four, everybody was given a face down card, and this set had not been pre. Imagine going, imagine going to the to, to worlds for my hero, and then in round four, we're all playing, we're all sitting down. Everybody tells the the, the Jasco staff tells us to stop what we're doing, and they give us each a card face down, and then we you look at it. And it's a card that has not been previewed from the next set. And so you just got like, imagine like you just get stain, right? Imagine you're just, you're just given stain. It's not legal. It's a foil version of this card, but you're just given it because you showed up to a free event. Crazy how cool it was. It was so, so cool. At Worlds, you get a mat, seven packs, and three promos on average. Yeah, Jasco, Jasco takes care of you, honestly. And they really, really care about the community. They really, really care about the uh, the um, they care about the players. They care about the game. The the and and a lot of the old universes veterans give Jasco a really hard time because we're so close to the game. Because this really is like a grassroots game. With that said, I don't know if my hero is going to have that same kind of prize support. I don't. I don't know, and I don't want to put words in mouth. But this is this is what I have. This is this is the knowledge that I have at at the event. I remember the first character that I pulled out of Mortal Kombat was Devora. Devora was the first character that I ever got to see, and she was just handed to me. Unbelievably cool. Unbelievably cool. Um, and then there was Nats where we got all got a double deck box or the one where we got a bunch of custom dragon shield sleeves. Yeah. And those sleeves right now, like they just gave out these sleeves. We got a pack of Sophia sleeves and a pack of, uh, Siegfried sleeves if you topped or it might've been backwards, but those, those sleeves are going for like 40, 50, 60 bucks online right now because they're like, they were only available at that event. 
and like it, it's cool. It's super super red. But anyways, this uh the price support that for this provisional stuff, I bet everybody's gonna get one of these packs every round. I will be I will be highly surprised if you do not walk away from a seven round event with without seven cards, and then even more for top cutting and and so on and so forth. This is not. I do not believe that these are these are winner packs. I believe these are participation packs. That's that's what I believe. If they are, if they are winter packs, I will be very very surprised. Very very surprised. Where do they usually hold bigger events? I believe that they are going to be holding these bigger events at your local store at the smallest level, and that's where the prize support for these cards are going to be. That's what I believe, or participation, so on and so forth. Um, as and they go all the way up to big convention centers. Uh, so we jumped into the uh the stream today at Level Up Expo. Um. And Level Up Expo, Expo already has their sign-up sheet, or has has their stuff for their badges. If you go to tournaments, tabletop games, what's this right here, huh? What's this right here happening on February 25th to the 27th? Huh? What's going on here? What's going on here, huh? What's this thing? Click for tournament info? To be announced. <laughs> but yeah, they got their they got their wheels moving. They're They're grooving. There's something something is going to happen for sure. But anywho, I want to talk about the next card, and that is the price for peace. You guys can't read it, so I'll read it out to you. It is a 1-4 action. It has all death and good. It's got a three high block, and it says form. Form. Discard your hand, colon. Draw up to your printed hand size. If this is not your first form, at the start of your end phase, lose the game. Huh. And then Deadlock Enhanced, name a Fury or Punch card. Add any number of copies of the name card from your deck to your hand. Um, How do you guys feel about this card? Because I am... I am interested, but I... I don't know, dude. I think that this card is such a scary place for us to be in. If you have anybody who's allowed to abuse this this ability by clearing their own card pool, read it one more time. I can't do Hillers. Form, discard your hand, colon, draw up to your printed hand size. If this is not your first form, at the start of the end phase, lose the game. So I've got a hand of all gray except for my one cool action card. I can form, put this guy into my card pool discard my hand, and then redraw up to my hand size. I essentially get a free mulligan for this hand. Or, I can play an attack, play an attack, then I can play the price for peace. I will discard, if I'm, let's say I'm a six-hander, I'll discard three cards, and then I'm going to draw six cards because I'm a six-hander. And I hopefully found just enough gas to end the game. Right? The big thing here is that the card stays in the card pool. And so it's going to be plus one progressive difficulty for the rest of the turn. If you play it later on in your chain, you've got you've got an issue. Right? My thing is, is as I don't think it's going to be a problem right now. I don't think right now it's going to be an issue. I think that later on down the road. I think later on down the road. It is going to be kind of crazy. That's how I feel. I think three sets from now, there's going to be an OTK with this card, and it's going to be, it's going to be nuts. Take an extra turn, man. Strikes again. Agreed. It does not have does not have the symbols with him, but like, yeah, it's that's and so uh, so Dendar, dark uh, man, dark shadow ruins going to be slamming with that card if it can. That's what I'm saying is they're gonna make they're gonna make a Dark Shadow Summon esque card of like yo you get to play with your for every act you play an action and they don't count or remove every action you play or or so, something's gonna happen with this card and then it's going to possibly break the game in half and so this is a card that designs just gonna have to think about for the rest of forever can Dicky play this card he cannot he cannot the only characters that can play this card we'll just we'll just take a, a quick little peeksies. The only characters that can play this card are uh, All Good Death. 
We have All Might 1, Kirishima, Eraserhead, Midoriya, Bakugo, Jiro, um, Momo, Nomu, Shigaraki, Ayama, All Might, True Form, All Might 3, Ojiro, Shoji, Mount Lady, All Might 2, Ochako 2. Um, and Midnight now. Midnight can also play it under the good symbol, or under the all symbol. The issue is going to be uh, keeping your turn going with that card of the carpool. I don't disagree with you. The qu and and once again, I don't think I think currently this is a no. I don't think this card is very good. I don't think this card is very good at all. Two, three, four sets down the line, I think this card's going to be going to be a contender. Were people already talking about all my true form, right? This card in Jiro seems really cool. <clears throat> Just put a put a thing in your card pool and then redraw. Guarantee that you draw draw gas. Eraser head. Yeah, I don't think any of these set one characters are gonna be that great with it. I will say, I will say. Does the lose the game part still stay in effect if you're able to clear it from the card pool? Yes. Yes it does. If you play it not as your first form of the turn, you will lose. Um, I guess we already know one of the question marks cards on there because uh, with Kirigiri, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, small might with pull no punches. Yeah, we could do that. I do think that the cooler part of this card, honestly, is the deadlock ability. Like going into be, be like, I'll play this card. I will pull up four Texas smashes. Okay, you better block. <laughs> is is like really good. Um, I really wish that this card removed itself for that bottom ability, just because, uh, you know, Texas Smash has a combo ability on it, but there's that. Or you literally have them at zero cards in hand and one more kills, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the last five should be Kirigiri, Present Mike, Sato, and Koda. Who's Hakagari? Uh, Invisible Girl. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> uh, get off future charges Whoa. <laughs> draw one draw two draw three draw four I want general gentle criminal so bad I agree um, unless they have other plans to release those characters elsewhere yeah I mean it makes sense for I mean it makes sense for, for th that to be the last uh, five cards right it's just the rest of the characters although like randomly having this one action seems kind of kind of weird they listed all the characters in Wave 1, and Koda wasn't there. Where are they? Man, I, I, I'm so glad I gave Scavenger VIP, because, like, he just knows everything about this card game. He knows, he's got all the news. <laughs> uh, the character card for Invisible Girl should be, shouldn't be too hard, right? Yeah, you just don't print her. You just make her text box blank. You'd be like, you can't read it? Obviously. We have a card that says lose the game. This card just says win the game. Duh. Previews, like, eight months ago. All right, there you go. Oh, that's right. Oh, with with the, with the board, with the board that came out, with all the the, the whatever's in the question marks. Yeah, 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 I remember that now. Scavenger doesn't have a have the uh, has a way better memory than I do. He certainly does. Give me Shinzo one day, one day Red Hood. Anywho, I think that's my my opinion on a on, on the two provisional pack cards that we uh, that we have. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know down in the, in the comments down below. I uh I think that Midnight is going to be very scary, and I think that uh. You are going to get molly whopped by the price for peace in two years, and you're going to feel bad about it. <laughs> so, thank you much for watching, you guys. I greatly, greatly appreciate it, and I wish you well.